Let's all be 100% honest. You're a fucking racist, okay? You hate me because I'm black. You're saying it's only because of me, but the only thing you go after me for is being black. Like, are you just that retarded that That's you don't... That's hilarious. Just... Uh, yeah, you that's got anything else? hilarious. You know when people, what I'm saying? You know when people look at that uh, trail, they're just going to see you being like a racist piece of shit, right? Racism doesn't exist, man. What's 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 the you people in race, dude? I want you to know that. I will flag your accounts. Uh, every course. single one of them. Yeah, I will. That's good to know, Jalen. Good job admitting to Yeah. Alright guys, Jalen is having another schizo attack on Twitter, all because of a simple video. If this doesn't cement the fact that Jalen should just get off the fucking internet, I don't know what does. But basically, Larix made another video on Jalen, and if you don't even know the situation with Jalen, basically, it's, it's a long story. There's a lot of stuff to uncover, a lot of things that Jalen has done, but it just involves a lot of racism and just, you know, false flagging, stuff like that, especially with Larix himself. Larix, uh, was one of the people that Jalen false flagged some of his videos down and you know this video that recently went up did actually get false flagged I believe Th there's no way the video just went up got taken down and then got brought back up in mere seconds Jalen had to have done it I don't think it's a surprise to any of us at all that it most likely is Jalen who did it and Jalen's just continuing the cycle that Larix kind of promotes in his video right he promotes a cycle and Jalen is just kind of going down that cycle uh, because the Jalen Jalen cycle is an, an actual like commentary like everybody in the commentary community knows what the Jalen cycle is I mean it, it's a common cycle now but I want to get into the real grit and grime right I want to get into the real the real juice the real muck Jalen has just been running around on Twitter preaching that she wants to be quote-unquote left alone but Jalen's the one involving herself into the community you know DMing a bunch of different commentary people and just telling them to either kill themselves or just saying racist things like like, for example, Izzy, uh, and if you don't know who Izzy is, Izzy is the person that Jalen actually originally called the N-word in that one clip that a lot of people like to use of Jalen, you know, the one where they're in a call and she's, like, having a meltdown and calls him the hard R. Yeah, that's who Izzy is. And so she DM'd him with the raccoon emoji. And you guys probably know what the fuck that means. I mean, that's pretty obvious. We all know what it means to put that down. So, not only is Jalen just cementing herself as just a genuine racist, but she just finds it to be funny she thinks that this is all just a joke and and again this has been something that Jalen has thought for a while now I've been giving Jalen the benefit of the doubt feeling like maybe Jalen's not a racist it's just Jalen having a mental breakdown but I'm actually just convinced at this point that Jalen genuinely has some sort of prejudice against black people you need to leave Izzy alone man like who cares and, and Izzy doesn't give a fuck at all if you call him the n-word but it's the sheer fact that you go to his dms and put the raccoon emoji and and you call him the hard R and it's like you know what are you doing Jalen do you think that people are just gonna side with you just because why not it doesn't really make any fucking sense and and the the sad reality is that you hide behind a wall you hide behind your Twitter wall you have so many people in your comment section who don't even know what you're doing outside of what you post you know what I mean like there's plenty of people here who just don't get it they like your post they give you what you want you they give you that dopamine rush but they don't even know what you're doing outside of the post. You're literally threatening people, telling people to kill themselves, calling people the n-word, you know, calling people horrible things, and then you're saying, leave me alone, I just want to be left alone. Shitting on Austin No Powers, calling him a, a groiper Nazi, even though you literally not that long ago just continuously kept dogging on other people, and then when someone makes a joke like this on you, oh, no, 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 they're the problem, not you. Jalen, you can make all the goddamn jokes in human existence, it doesn't matter what you say you're right and everyone else is wrong you are so fucking brain dead retarded it is actually so baffling to me you are literally the worst of the worst when it comes to this platform Jalen and I want you to understand that no one likes you and I and until you decide to get off the goddamn platform and just stop being <laughs> stop fucking forcing yourself on this platform where everyone's just gonna continuously make fun of you then I don't know what to tell you you are gonna kill yourself eventually
essentially. Like, it, and it's baffling to me. And it's not our fault. It's your fault. We have told you numerous amounts of times to get off the fucking internet. And what do you do? You engage. You sit here on Izzy's, like, recent, like, debate stream with him, where you just say, I just want to be left alone. Why don't you guys leave me alone? Why'd you join the call? You know, you, you know, Nicholas Diorio goes in there and, like, literally wants to make progress with you, and you made progress by saying you're, you're gonna ignore Nicholas. Okay, do that. Genuinely ignore everybody within the community and make different forms of content. That's all you have to do, Jalen. Why the fuck are you still engaging in our community if you can't handle it? That's something that I will never understand from you. You, you want to be a part of this community, but you also don't. And then you engage yourself in the community and shit on other people, but then when they start shitting on you, that's a red flag and you're not allowed to do it. You know how fucking stupid it sounds? You know how stupid you are? Holy shit, you're retarded. Like, it's actually baffling to me. And me saying this makes me a fucking Nazi, most likely, to you and every fan of yours, which is baffling to me. You, you can't take criticism, Jalen. You can't do anything. You are literally mentally ill. You need help. It is crazy to me how you continuously engage yourself within the community and then blame everything on everyone else but yourself. You refuse to acknowledge that you have done anything wrong. And I just, I don't get it. You will most likely come out with an apology soon. I guarantee you're gonna come out with an apology pretty damn soon here. And, and it's not gonna amount to anything. You're gonna apologize and you're gonna leave and you're gonna come back after a few hours and then you're gonna do the same shit eventually at some point. You are literally the worst possible content creator I've ever seen on the platform. I mean, genuinely, Jalen, if this job doesn't work for you, find another job. Get off the internet and go work an actual job, a job that you can handle, a job that you can understand. This is not something you should be doing. And as for the dying channel things that people are saying, your channel is dying. My first Femyaz video has the same amount of views as your phase video. That's insane. Jalen, I have 400 subs. You have 300,000. I'm getting the same views as you on one of your videos. That's crazy. The fact that my video is reaching even a level close to your channel is insane. You're a dying channel and you're not going to keep growing. You keep sitting here praising yourself saying, oh, wait and see. I'm going to get bigger than all of you guys and I'm going to be better than all of you guys. And you're just not. You are literally a dying channel and you keep digging yourself the grave. The only place that you're going to exist on is Twitter. And newsflash, buddy, Twitter's the worst possible website you could be big on. It, you know, maybe learn to just get off the internet and, and just better yourself. Get off, get a job, and better your life. Uh, before I end my video off, I just wanted to make it very clear. Jalen has been on such a terrible uh, mental rant that I can't compile all the pictures here. I've gotten majority of them, but there's quite a few that I'm not including just because it is way too much. I actually forgot to mention about the breakdown that she had with Larix, and I didn't realize how bad it got. I'm gonna show you a little clip here, and it's just kind of like really fucking disturbing. It's basically just the Joker scene when he shoots, uh, what's his face? I forgot his name, the talk show guy. And she has her as the Joker shooting Larix, which is, it, it's like somewhat disturbing because of all the blatant threats that Jalen has made against people, like, like the threats as in like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna kill you, you know, I'm gonna find where you live and I'm gonna hurt you type of threats that she's made to other people. So it's, it's genuinely like, it can be a little terrifying seeing something like that come from, from someone as mentally ill as Jalen. I'll tell you what you get! Call the police! Get what you fucking deserve! But like I said, I wasn't able to compile all of the clips all at once. I really wanted to, uh, but there's just so much. And genuinely looking at all of these clips and all of these pics and DMs and stuff, like I said, Jalen, you need to get off the internet. We are not the cause of your mental downfall. It is you yourself that's causing it. You are a terrible person. You can't take criticism. And whenever somebody tries to criticize you, you just kind of run away and act like you're a victim. It is depressing watching you act like this, trying to throw some weird victim card and make us out like we're some terrible people when all we have done is just showcased the terrible things that you have done on the internet. And at the end of the day, you need to get off before it actually hurts you. Anyways, guys, I don't want to keep jumping on the topic anymore and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.